Welcome to the Backgammon Christmas Calendar. 24 points of Christmas. The 14 point by Grandmaster Mark Olsen. What's up Backgammon fans? Today is the 14th of December and we're gonna talk about the 14 point in this video. Well, what can we say about the 14 point? It's over here on my side of the board. It's an outer board point. It's in my outer board, not in your outer board. Usually we don't own the 14 point. It's, it's a little bit difficult to get to a position where you own the 14 point. But there are some peculiarities about the 14 point. For instance, if you open up with a 6-4 and you choose to run, 6-4 is a good running move, right? You can run all the way with 6-4. There are three equally good opening rolls with 6-4. You can also play it like this. This is also a good play. And last but not least, you can also make the deuce point. And the three plays are actually more or less equally good. But uh, let's say that you run with a 6-4, which is a good play, especially if you just, especially in one point matches, running plays are good in one point matches. And it's also good if you're leading in the match because it kind of lowers the volatility, especially every time you get, if you get this guy to freedom, because now you only have one man back and you're not gonna lose a gammon as much. So let's say you, you uh, make the running play here and I roll something, I don't know, 5-3. In this position, that checker on the 14 point actually serves quite a few purposes. It preserves, it, it served a little bit of outfield control, not so much here be, after roll 5-3, but before this roll, it served a little bit of outfield control because Every time I were to run with my checker, which I wouldn't actually, the reason I wouldn't run is because of that checker there. Now you have double outfield control. You control the outer points here in your home outer board, uh, double up with this checker. So it served as outfield control. But let, now I roll the 5-3, and now it's your turn. And now you want to clean it up because you don't want to get hit. That's obviously not so desirable. So you want to free this checker and get it to safety. But as it is, it's placed here on the 14 point. It's actually diversifying your numbers quite well because you still have your point making numbers over here. You have 6-1, 3-1, 4-2, 4-2, even 5-3. But uh, this checker here gives you another, another range of, or another diversified range of, of dice com uh, combinations that makes points here in the outfield. Like for instance, 3-2, 4-3, 5-4 makes a point. So you see, the checker here on the 14 point actually, it's a pretty good builder. <laughs> it's not a builder for your most important points, your priming points over here, but it's, builder, it's a builder for your outer points. And that's actually quite nice. Hey guys, remember to download and play on the Backgammon Galaxy app. Even if you're just gonna play it safe, that's also good because you liberated a back checker now you only have one man back but uh, the 14 point is diversifying your your builders here for the outer point the 14 point is reminds me a little bit uh, of the nine point you remember we talked about the nine point that's a very active quote-unquote active builder because it gives you a lot of dice combinations that develop uh, points in your prime formation over here the 14 point is kind of like a light version of the 9 point because it's the, it's the point out here in my outer board where your dice combinations are well diversified to make new points. That's just a little fun, fun fact. Um, one more thing about the 14 point. Let me show you a position. So what's going on here? Well, I caught you on the bar. You danced. I have a four point board here. You're without an anchor, which means I have a blitz attack going on here. You have a nice position developing. You have the five point made. You've got no stacks over here. You have a stack on the midpoint, but it doesn't look that ugly over here. The problem is the blitz attack. You're under a severe blitz attack here. I have 10 men in the zone and a four point board. This is a very powerful blitz attack. So the question is, what's the right cube action here? And what has this got to do with the 14 point? 
So the, the correct cube action here is for me to double and for you to pass. This is too much, too much to take. There, there are too many gammon wins here for me. It's not a profitable take. You should drop this cube. It would be a blunder actually to take this cube. But let's say instead of this position, let's say you had this position. You had the 14 point mate. This makes a big difference, big, big difference. This is actually a big take. This is a big take. So the fact that you have an outer board point made, and in this case, the 14 point, shifts this position from being a big pass to being a big take. So if you can actually make the 14 point, it's a great asset, especially in games where you're under attack. This makes it much more difficult for me to bring my checkers home safely. And every time that you survive the blitz, you have a better structure out here, a little bit of an outfield prime. You have outfield control. You're not as stacked, which means you have higher degree of checker utilization, more efficient use of checkers. And overall, it's just a better structure. It also looks a bit prettier, actually, when you just scan the board and look at the orange checkers here. This is a little bit ugly. You're stiff and inflexible. Having the 14 point made, it improves your position a lot. And this is actually a take. So every time you're under a blitz attack, if you have an outfield point, it doesn't just, it's not just the 14 point, the 15 point and 16 point would also be useful here. But with the 14 point made, it's a big take. Hope you like this video, guys. This was about the 14 point. Merry Christmas and happy 14th of December. See you all tomorrow. Merry Christmas, backgammon fans.